Hi, I'm Paweł Spechalski and first of all I would like to thank all my Patreon and YouTube supporters for their backing. If you are not one of them, then please consider becoming one for as little as two bucks a month. And now, in today's video, let's have a nice, quick and simple tutorial on how to update your Immersion RC Ghost firmware to the latest quite often still in the beta uh, phase firmware for both the transmitters and the receivers. The Ghost Radio System firmware update procedure has two phases. In the phase one you have to update the transmitter and in the phase two you have to update the radio receivers using the over the air update so yeah you definitely do not have to connect any wires to your receivers to have the latest firmwares running everywhere in the first part of this video we will of course update the ghost i have over here into the latest beta version of the 1008 and in the second part we will of course update the receiver without touching any buttons and plugging any extra wires to the receivers or to the flight controller to have the whole system running in the latest version but before we will proceed you will have to get some firmware some software on your uh, windows i think this is only valid for windows pc so let's go to the website of the immersion rc ghost and in the bottom section you will have to get two files the first one is the ghost updater click and run program application which is kind of biggish because it's almost like 50 something megabytes and in the second part you will also have to get yourself a special drivers for the ghost itself it's very important you have to install those drivers without those drivers when windows and the update application will fail to detect your transmitter and you will of course not be able to proceed so download both files and then you just have to go to the folder where you downloaded the drivers, extract the files like I did over here and install the drivers. This is as simple as that. If you are in the 64-bit uh, version of the Windows, of course, use x64. If you are still on the 32 bits, then use x86 version. And driver at this point should be updated next part of course is we have to start the application i have the application stored already in a slightly different place so let me go there and launch the ghost updater click and run and now the application will start we have it right now on our desktop and what you have to do right now this is something that some people from time to time forget first you have to power on your radio and the ghost transmitter module. The update will fail without the ghost TX being, being powered and running. And then you just need to get the any other USB, micro USB cable, plug it in in the correct place over here in your transmitter. Place the radio on your desk and a few moments later the application will pick up that there is Immersion RC USB to UART on any other uh, COM port detected. And now, now we only have to find the firmware we want to flash. I already have over there 1007, so I want to flash 1008, which is still a beta release show. So, show betas, select and hit start update. The process will take some time, so be patient. I will probably just edit the part when we are waiting for the update to finish. And then we will move to the phase where we will update the receiver already binded with your transmitter. When you will hear your ghost beeping, that means the whole process is over. The new firmware for the transmitter and the receiver is already stored inside of your ghost TX module. You can just plug the wire off, power down the radio, and then we can proceed with the receiver flashing. 
the next step is of course to verify if the firmware was flashed so let me turn on my radio master tx 16s and then when the oh throttle warning interesting right and now when the ghost will boot up okay i don't want to destroy my gimbals when the ghost will boot up and when we will use the menu and scroll one right we will see that the tx is already at 1008 and the rx is not yet connected so we have no idea if this is working so let me take my quad uh, let's zoom out slowly slightly let me take my quad let's plug in the battery uh, it's complicated and now, after the beta flight in this very case will power up, you will notice that the RX is still at version 1005. This is because the ghost is updating the firmware on the receiver only during the binding process. Luckily, we do not really have to press the binding button on the receiver to make it make it happen because there is um, a simpler and probably more convenient way so first of all let me power down the drone so that we lost the telemetry and let's use the joystick on the ghost to enter the bind menu i'm entering the bind menu and i will be binding with the protocol s bus like it's over here right now with the link quality on the channel 12 and the rssi on the channel 11 just injected values and then go to the menu position start binding and press binding is in process what will happen now right now after we will power up the receiver the receiver will automatically go into the binding mode and flash the latest firmware that's already stored on your transmitter module without having to press anything so let me plug in the battery one more time and we will see how this thing will be working It's taking a moment. And now. Now, after the receiver connected to the transmitter, we can start the process by moving the joystick right. And it's working. After flashing is done, there will be a verification phase. And after this will be done, we are almost completed. There is something in the ghost manual that says do not power the receiver immediately after the firmware was flashed. Probably because something has to be stored somewhere. And succeeded. That means both flashing and the verification of the firmware is done. Press to continue. We press to continue. We... Okay, and the telemetry was recovered. And now when we will scroll right, the X and RX are right now in exactly the same firmware number, which is 1008. And that, my friends, is the whole Ghost firmware update procedure. There is really nothing else. And that's all. Thank you very much for watching and until the next one. Bye-bye.